I am hungry. Babe, I feel like some smoked redfish tacos. Do we have any tortillas? Can I catch a redfish? <laughs> yeah, well, let's just go see what we can catch. Fish on! Fish on! <laughs> yeah! Smoked barbecue redfish tacos coming up. Gonna be a great day out on the water. Redfish is the target. Let's get out there and go see what we can catch. Oop. Fish on! Fish on! <laughs> yeah! Got one, guys, fish on. And this has got to be a red. Ha <laughs> ha, I knew it. Oh yeah, fish on. We caught our redfish for today. I'm confident of that. The way this guy's taking me on a sled ride. Just had to come back out. Oh yeah. Oh, buddy. Ha ha ha. Mmm, fish on. Oh yeah, this has got to be a redfish. Taking us on a little bit of a sleigh ride. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm about to make another run. Don't get underneath my pedals there. Oh, he's, oh, he broke me off on my own pedals! Oh! Oh! I am so upset! Don't get on my pedals, I'm screeching to pull him off. Oh, he broke me off. Look at that. Oh, all that time trying to find him. Oh well, I wanna catch that same one and get my lure back. Oh well, we gotta tie back on and try it again. They're out here and they're biting and that's what counts. trying to find pinch points like this one over here on the left. Oh, oh. Got one, got one. <laughs> Fish on! Fish on! <laughs> Woohoo! Just like that. And this guy is taking it. Yeah, this might be, oh my goodness. This might be the redfish we're looking for. I hope he is not over slot. Fish on! Wow! Just little pinch points where they might be hiding out. I've got to fight him and the wind at the same time. He, this definitely has got to be a redfish. I don't know if he's over slot or not, but we're gonna get our net ready and kind of put our feet back in the stirrups while he pulls us. Oh yeah. He's pulling some drag out. I gotta keep a tight line. Where are this guy? Wear him out. Okay, he's near the boat now. Do not come underneath the pedals. This is definitely a redfish. Oh yeah, oh beautiful redfish. A beautiful redfish. Look at him out there, dancing in the water. Come on, dude. Oh yeah. Woo. Yeah. Come on in, come on in, I got you. Yeah, woohoo! Fish on! Love that. Nice fight, buddy. Thank you for not breaking me off like your brother did. This is definitely large. A large redfish. So we're staked out, although we're on the wrong side of the boat to stake out with the wind blowing. 
And he, let's get him out of our net here. Just didn't want him to take any kind of chance on this fish breaking off or getting out and getting away. We came out here for redfish today and we love it when a plan comes in to play and works. Let's get you. There we go. I got you. There's our fish. Get our net out of the way. Get our line together. I got you, buddy. I know. There he is. Nice little winter red. Yeah, and he, my bait is just dangling in his mouth down there. Oh, I whew, came off the hook. Thank you for that. Nice red. There he is. A little skinny. Oh, don't, don't go away with my grips. Let's, let's see how big he is. He's long. He's definitely going to be a keeper, but a little on the skinny side. He's playing around out here in the wind and the rain. Not rain, but wind in the winter weather. Oh, yeah. Perfect size. 22 and a half. That's a 22 and a half inch redfish. Perfect, perfect eating size. We are keeping him today. We wanted to keep one fish. This is it. Nice redfish. Nice redfish. He's just trying to, strong guy too. 22 and a half. It's off the board there. Okay, let me get this guy ready and then we'll keep fishing. Well, you just saw me catch a nice fish right behind me here in this little pinch point area with the current coming at us. Uh, the wind is just something fierce today. I targeted the behavior of this fish. These fish like to eat uh, bait as they're coming through these little pinch point areas like you see behind me. And uh, they just wait. It's kind of like, kind of like us, really. I don't eat too much fast food, but if you drive up to a drive up window in a fast food restaurant and make an order, the food comes to you. And that's what happens here with these fish. They park out in the current and the food comes to them and they just gorge themselves on it. Now he was a little skinny, but he's a perfect eating size. 22 inches, maybe 20 inches is a perfect eating size right around there. And so we're gonna take him home and I'll make smoked redfish tacos. I'll have to show you that. Coming back into all that wind has really made me hungry. I've got to go finish getting the ingredients for these redfish tacos. I'm looking forward to that. at what I found inside this fish. I found a fish hook inside this fish. Wow, look at that. That is a fish hook. Okay, that right there, that is the chicken wing essentially of a redfish. A little bit of work to get the throat, but it always tastes great. Smoked barbecue redfish tacos coming up. What's to get? Three. Well, that's it. Ready to go. Got our tortillas, tomatoes, and beer. Thank you.
So the ingredients are pretty simple. Uh, you've got your cayenne pepper, you've got your Tony Chacherias, can't really pronounce that, Creoles uh, seasoning, Mansmith's Dry Fire seasoning, Pam, that's for uh, the redfish on the half shell, a little bit of vegetable oil, onion, tomato, garlic, and butter. Then you just need your flour tortillas, and the star of the show, you need your fish. The first thing we do is we chop onions. And by the way, there's no real sizing to this. It's to your taste. So I like a lot of onions, so I just cube up a lot of onions. And the idea here is that the onions, you're gonna slowly, slowly saute them and smoke them along with the fish and then uh, have the butter and oil there in the pan or the Pyrex, I use a Pyrex dish to hold that. So that's about enough onion. So we're gonna put all this onion in our Pyrex dish and of all these ingredients, the only thing that comes afterwards is the tomato. I like tomato and shredded cheese uh, in this dish, along with the basted onions, butter, and garlic on top of the fish and the seasonings, and that's it. It is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, oh, sorry. I forgot the star ingredient. Trader Joe's Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce. Do not forget this. It is the star of the show. Of course, you can use whatever barbecue sauce you want, but Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce, oh, to die for. Okay, so we're gonna add to our ingredients a couple of cloves of garlic. And I just crush them. So here's my garlic press. We just kind of load it up, maybe a piece at a time. Press it right into the pan here. Just kind of trim the end off. And this, uh, this recipe is so simple, but so good. I just think these ingredients blend well together to just make an exceptional fish taco. It's not the traditional fish taco, but hey, who wants to be traditional? Here's your garlic. Okay, so what do we have so far? We've got our Pyrex with our onion, our garlic, and now we're just gonna add our butter, about two tablespoons worth, right in there. Okay, so now it's time to bring out the star of the show, so let me go get him. Okay, so I'm just going to pat down my fish after I rinsed it off with that fresh water. You saw that at the bank, so I cleaned it. This is the throat of a redfish, at least it's called the throat. Now it's not the internal organ uh, that we term the throat, but just the meaty part of the underbelly, the chin. So all we have to do now is season our fish and then let it sit for a while. And so the first thing that I do is I use Pam canola oil blend only on the shell side of the redfish because I'm gonna set that directly on the grill. Now, I'm gonna do the same for this other piece of redfish too, even though I normally put it on some aluminum foil, or I'll just oil one side of it. That's done. Then I lay down a nice layer of this Creole seasoning. And redfish can take seasoning. If you can, it can. So I season my fish. Okay. Then Mansmith's Dry Fire Gourmet Seasoning. Mm. This stuff just adds to the flavor. It is a rub that I use 
on ribs. A little touch of cayenne pepper, never hurt anybody. And I always put just about, I don't know, a tablespoon or so of cooking oil in the pan. Sometimes I put it on the fish to make the seasonings adhere, but I've seen that, that I don't really have to. So then I just kind of pat my seasonings in a little bit. And then the number one thing to do, sometimes the hardest, is put this in the pan and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Well, there it is. This is fish that is sitting out, waiting and letting the seasoning just soak into the meat. We're waiting for the grill to heat up. We're gonna put this out on the smoker, cook it, and then we're ready to go. Okay, you can see the Traeger is fired up and it's ready to go. So now we are going to just slide our fish in there. It's still soaking from the seasoning. And we're just gonna leave it in the pan there. So our temperature is currently at 120 degrees, which is kind of the temperature that it smokes at. And that's what you see happening right there. We're gonna let that smoke for about 10 minutes or so. Now that that's out there smoking for a few minutes, uh, we wanna smoke it about 10 minutes or so. Uh, it won't affect the cook time too much, but we will reduce the cook time a little bit as we turn the heat up. But now we can turn our attention to our tomato and get her all diced up and ready to go. We've smoked our fish for about 10 minutes or so. If you take a look at the fish itself, you'll notice that it's a little wet. So remember we patted it dry, but it's a little wet. That tells you that the seasoning is actually doing its job. It's soaking into the meat, just like the smoke is soaking into the meat. So now it's time to turn the temperature up. So I just crank mine all the way up to high. On this Traeger, that's 450 degrees. And then the other thing I do is remove the fish and put it directly on the grate. So let's go ahead and do that. Remember he's oiled on the bottom side. That'll allow him to get some more smoke and it'll free up some room for the butter to start melting. Woo, that smoke is a beautiful smell. So we're just gonna close the lid again. Okay, you can see that the temperature is coming up. It's 237 right now, 237 degrees inside of the box. And you want the temperature of your fish to get to about 145, 150 degrees internal temp. Ooh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, you can tell. Look, take a look at that meat right there. You see that it is really wet. That's really good. That's a good sign. It's turning a little pink. Our butter is starting to melt. Our garlic and onions are starting to come together too. So now we're gonna let that cook a little bit. We're gonna mix this up a little bit. We've got some hot butter, garlic based, melted butter, garlic, onion based. Whoa. Oh, that, I just got hit in the face with that. That's wonderful. So we're gonna just close up, let that smoke continue to get inside of that meat. That's the goal, get the smoke inside the meat, get the seasoning inside the meat, let that meat cook and lock in those seasonings and pow, smoked redfish barbecue tacos. All right, so we're gonna check it again. All right, so now we're starting to see that butter and all of this just, it's looking good. There you go. But there you go. Just keep basting until your fish is cooked and done. Get, get those onions, even if you lose some of them. But get that butter in there. Ok, 
Okay, so it's time to check our fish. Oh boy, oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna use our digital thermometer slide in. About halfway into this big piece. 160, 142. We are good to go, guys. About 145 internal temperature on a fish like this is a good target temperature. So I'm gonna clean up here, get the fish loaded up, get it back in there, and then we can plate it. All that's left is the assembly, and so you just go to town. Now, some people like to cook their tortillas. I microwave mine for about 30 seconds. I've also put them out on the grill before, but I'm just too hungry right now. Uh, we've got our tortillas ready. Got a nice Corona. Ah, tastes great. Look at how moist that fish is, and it flakes up. Oh, this is great. Juicy, moist fish tacos. And can never forget the Carolina Gold. Oh. Well, there you have it, guys. There's three. Beautiful redfish smoked barbecue fish tacos. I don't put anything else on them. The flavors just come through this way. So let's try them out. Just look at that. Just amazing. Mm. It's juicy, it's moist, it's smoky, and you get that hint of barbecue sauce. I like the honey mustard, hot honey mustard kind of Carolina gold barbecue sauce. Oh, it's to die for. Mm. Mm. Ah, thank you guys for watching. Always appreciate it. Click subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and comment. All of those things really help. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Kayak Fishing Addict on YouTube. I'll see you next week. Somebody should sell these. Really hit the spot. Mm -mm -mm.